boys and girls. So, is this the weirdest thing? To see me with my mask on, talking to you? Well, I'm gonna take it off, just for this. Hi, isn't it funny to remember that underneath everybody's masks, there are mouths? It is such a silly time right now, isn't it? Where we're seeing all sorts of masks on all sorts of faces. And some are really fancy, and some are really not fancy, and they're all being used to do the same thing, which is keep us safe and keep other people safe, right? Um, but I was thinking to myself that wouldn't it be awesome if we could see what everybody's mouth looked like underneath their mask. I was thinking about that today while I walked outside and I saw people and I was noticing that we have to smile a lot harder with our eyes now, right? So you can kind of tell. So when I have my mask on and when I'm smiling or when I'm <gasps> surprised or hmm, when I'm sad, that my eyes are still saying a lot. We can still say a whole lot with our eyes. We can still like share kindness with our eyes. Isn't that funny? And so what I thought we should do today is this. I thought that it was important that we made some silly mouth masks. What do you think about that? Hmm, what if I looked like this underneath my mask? Or what if I look like that underneath my mask? Our mouth says a lot, but our eyes can also tell a story. So what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna make some sweet mouth little maskies like cartoon, animal ones, oh, animal ones, like this? Is it possible that you could just create an animal mask? Yeah, it is. Okay, do you wanna see how we make them? Here we go. Hi friends. Okay, so to make these masks, this is what you're gonna need. I am choosing to use markers to color. You don't have to use markers. You can use crayons or colored pencils if you want, or if you have oil pastels, why not? But I have markers, a glue stick, a permanent marker. So I am using a white pencil to make my teeth in all of my little mouths. You can also use a white crayon. That'll work the same. Or you can draw on white paper. Um, popsicle sticks. So you can also use maybe a chopstick or a straw or a stick from outside. Think about options if you don't have popsicle sticks, okay? I also have a pencil so I can do my sketch drawing and a pair of scissors so I can cut out my face, okay? All right, so here's the first step. I'm gonna move all my stuff so you can see now, my first step is this. I'm gonna think about a face, not really a face, I'm gonna think about a mouth. Maybe I'm gonna go backwards one. I'm gonna think about a feeling. Hmm, I would love to see a little more joy on people's faces. How about you guys? So, a joyful mouth maybe looks something like this. So, use my pencil. Here we go. Boop, boop. Joyful mouth. Teeth. Why not? Sometimes people use that little kind of U line as a way of sort of drawing some cheeks. Now it's time to trace and draw. Okay guys, so you can see that I used my colored pencil to fill in all my teeth. There's my happy face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make one, two, three more mouths. Remember, 
They can be human or animal or something else altogether. Let's see what I make. All right, friends, so now you can see that I have the actual mouths colored in. Now, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take my black permanent marker and I'm gonna go all the way around my designs. And then I'll know exactly where to cut them out. So I made a big border. Did you notice that? There you go. I got a big border around. Now I'm gonna color that space in. Okay friends, so now you see that I have all of my faces colored in. Now what you're going to do is this. And you know what's so funny? I think I forgot to tell you guys that I decided that I was gonna use an old cereal box. This is just a cereal box that I made my drawings on. You can use white paper if you want or you can use any other paper, quite honestly. Um, this is just what I had available. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my faces and then or my mouths, and then I'm just gonna show you how I glue it on. Okay, so now everything is cut. You guys can see that I left a pretty big borderline all the way around the mouths. That is totally okay. I kinda like it there. All right. Last, what you're going to do is this. You can use a glue stick, or if you just so happen to have glue laying around, that's pretty awesome too. I am going to put a plop of glue onto my glue stick, and then just stick it. Just stick it right onto the back. Got it? Just like this. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Push. Make sure you're pushing. Ugh, sometimes you need to give it a three count. One, two, three. And there we go. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to go and I want you to make totally ridiculous mouths for your faces. And I want you to have fun. And I want you to think of totally funny ones and silly ones and they don't have to look like mine. Remember that. They could be clown faces. Think about just like people from like the nose down. So it can be a nose and a mouth or it can just be a mouth but have fun and fill them with lots of color and walk around and bring a little joy to the people around you, okay? Have fun, have fun, have fun. And I miss you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.